I'm making this video to let you know that I'm still alive and also share some updates on my projects and my life. For people who are not familiar with me, I'm Andrew Trappin. I work on operating systems and programming languages, improve Gyland Geeks ecosystem and do a lot of friend open source software along the way. So let's get to the updates. I have a long lasting story with RSI and unfortunately recently I got hit by it again and uh, because I'm traveling a lot and I have only one backpack and can carry a lot of stuff with me I can't have my ergonomic desk, chair and keyboard so uh, I needed to find another way and I decided to try to make a laptop keyboard more ergonomic for this uh, I needed a Japanese keyboard because it has a few more buttons near the space bar uh, which I can use for my thumbs and use uh, them instead of um, hard to reach backspace key or maybe shift keys and other things. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't find uh, a Japanese keyboard for my old laptop because it probably doesn't exist in the nature but uh, who knows I tried a lot of uh, options but didn't find it uh, so I found a used laptop in Japan and ordered it and it worked quite well uh, I thought originally that it can be due to my boxing workout uh, but in fact it was due to my uh, non very comfortable working place and also the laptop keyboard and uh, switching to a new layout uh, and working for a few weeks uh, made me feel much better I don't have pain anymore so I can properly work for a longer periods of time uh, this update my laptop became a bit lighter it uh, more durable and specs a bit better but another problem that appeared with new laptop is web camera support because it has quite questionable EPU 6 uh, Intel webcam which not yet working correctly on Linux machines uh, we worked with Leap Camera devs and uh, made it running uh, at least somehow but it runs not perfectly and moreover it freezes the whole operating system once in a while which is not acceptable when you make videos or you do video calls and you need like to reboot the whole machine because it's completely frozen uh, so it also makes a bit harder uh, to make videos uh, due to this thing but uh, another reason that I was moving a lot I moved uh, inside Georgia also I moved uh, to Turkey and I'm going to uh, travel to Emirates soon to my friend uh, to do some uh, marathon a bit of Muay Thai and probably maybe maybe some streaming because I will have a better internet connection here so going back to the laptop another funny fact about its keyboard the ThinkPad the modern expensive ThinkPad doesn't have NK rollover so it also restricts how uh, I have to design uh, the keyboard layout and the usage of it it's very unfortunate and I'm quite sad about it but it is what it is okay let's go further to the projects um, I have a few ongoing small contracts related to Geeks and Guile uh, all of them produces force work uh, and also I have my ba basic expenses covered right now uh, so I feel a bit more secure and also uh, it allows to allocate funding that we have on Open Collective uh, directly to the projects uh, to RDE to Array RS uh, Guile ID and probably it will be some kind of uh, Google Summer of Code kind internship for one of the contributors um, 
we still discussing the format we will be working, the details, the project scope and other things. It's not settled yet, but at least it's basic idea of what is uh, coming soon. Uh, in parallel to it, I applied for two grants. First one for implementation of unit testing framework for scheme language uh, and its integration in ID we are working on. Um, and another one is for maintainership for RD and uh, RS array projects. I don't have much hope here, but if it works out, it will be a huge boost for not only the project themselves, but also the whole gigs, guile and RD ecosystems. Uh, what else I have in my notes here? Oh, uh, about one of the projects I'm working during those uh, contracts. Uh, it's related to genetics research and I hope it benefits the genetics research, but also in addition to that, uh, we are building expertise and foundation for future uh, functionality of RS ID uh, for Guile Hood super support, because uh, the tool we are writing uh, is written in Guile Hood and it works and works quite good in my opinion. Uh, so we'll see, we're still missing some functionality from uh, Guilehood itself, but due to our increased expertise, I think we will be able uh, to make this functionality uh, not soon, but at least much faster than if we uh, were doing it from scratch. Okay, uh, another update, probably not the only update but uh, last for today is about constant project i already mentioned it on the mailing list and probably a few times on my mastodon account uh, but for people who are not familiar with it uh, cons stands for consensus operated network services as the concept is still work in progress and um, it can be changed in the future but for now you can think uh, of it uh, as a group of interconnected uh, self-hosted services with single sign-on and other cool stuff and all that operated by its own users. It probably will be for relatively small community but uh, it should be quite nice and uh, allow to avoid usage of proprietary and uh, services that sells your dat data that you can't control that vendor locks you or which doesn't allow that uh, amount of flexibility control and integration you have in self-hosted one uh, the update itself about this project is that uh, recently um, i was able to successfully deploy the whole kubernetes cluster uh, declaratively with gigs and now we can gradually start deploying all needed services, uh, certificate manager, load balancer, multi-protocol authentication service. Um, and after that, we will be adding the services that actually do some stuff. Uh, maybe Git hosting, maybe RSS reader, uh, maybe CalDAV, CarDAV, uh, maybe some kind of uh, thing for scheduling meetings and calls. Let's see. Uh, it's not really important in which order we will be adding them. Uh, we will discuss it with potential contributors and users of the service and we'll start from here. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those cool mountains and forests and the updates I shared with you. And I will see you in a bit. Bye.